or just to make sure my chain is not protruding. I'm gonna take a carpenter square, it's about as straight as edge I have in my garage, I believe. Just wanna make sure my chain is not protruding past the face of the block. And it's not, see I'm going straight up. It's not, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I am not, the chain is not protruding past the face of the block. And this is about the straightest edge I got in the garage of Carpenter Square. But uh, you might have something better than this, but this is all I got that I consider pretty straight. So I checked that. Now I'm going to take my, uh, my old uh, cam bolt out, put my new one in, get ready to torque it. But first I got to lock the flywheel. Lock the flywheel again with my tool. But we'll cover all that. All right, guys, before I get ready to uh, took my cam bolt and put my new cam bolt in, right now I just have the old one in, but uh, I do have a new cam. I would replace the cam, but it's only one time use. Uh, those of you care to know, here's my new cam bolt. Part number 1268018, genuine cam bolt that comes in the kit. Gonna be replacing that. So, go ahead and install that. Should be on the finger tight. Gonna take the old one out. My finger's too fat, so I can't get my hand in there to finger tighten, so I'm just using the socket. And it's a 24 millimeter, by the way. There we go. Back in play. Then the old one can be discarded. Now, before I get ready to torque that, the cam bolt, uh, don't forget, I still haven't uh, put the the bolt to the left side of my chain tensioner. I need to do that. Also, before you torque it, before you uh, torque the uh, cam bolt, I need to make sure my lifters are seated centered on the uh, on the cam loads. If they're not centered on the cam loads, I can take a push rod and push them down uh, so they're sit, um, you know, centered on the cam load. Once again, before you torque that cam bolt, make sure your lifters are centered on the cam load. And then also, here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my chain actuator. And right now, while this isn't tight, it's loose here, so I can go ahead and pull this pin and then get ready to put the bolt in. So I can go ahead and pull this pin. Go ahead and this out. Put the bolt in. Bolt in. Then I want to torque this. It's twenty two, twenty two foot pounds. 22 foot pounds, and that's a 10 millimeter. All right, so tighten the chain tension the bolts to 10, excuse me, 22 foot pounds. Torque that down. <clears throat> I 
made sure my lifters are sitting on my loads. If they're not sitting on the loads, once again, push them down with a push rod so they are. I uh, just did my chain tensioner. Okay. And before I get ready to torque that cam bolt, I'm going to put my flex plate locking tool back in, back on the flex plate, and then I'll be ready to torque that cam bolt. which is 48 pounds of foot, foot pounds, plus an additional uh, plus 180 degrees. So 48, then 90, and then another 90. So stay tuned. I'm not gonna record me putting the uh, flex plate locking tool on, but uh, I'll pick back up when I get ready to do the uh, cam boat. Okay, I got my, I got my flex plate uh, locking tool in place. Now I can torque, torque this cam bolt. But once again, before I do that, you need to make sure, make sure your lifters are centered on the load. Make sure your lifters are centered on the load. All right, guys. Remember what I said about um, before you torque your cam bolt, the final cam bolt, uh, torque, before you torque it, make sure you draw lifters or uh, set it on the cam load. We just, I'm glad I double checked mine because I noticed that some of my lifters were not set it on the cam load. And on top of that, I mean, you push them down with a push rod and even some of them was like stuck in the, in the chamber where I couldn't even get it to push down. So I had to loosen up my trays and like, Lift the lifter up, I'm gonna lift the tray up halfway out and then push it down for that lifter to finally drop down on the cam load. So now I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but let's try it and see. Uh, let me see if this light will show you or not. But if you, let me see, can you see that? Okay, you see right there? That's my lifter. Man, I need to put this down to see if you can hold it, if I can hold it or not. Let's see. I can work this magic. Let's see if I can work this magic for the for the viewers. Yeah, it's not that good, but you see that? Lifter. See that? That's one of the lobes at the bottom there to the left is the, uh, shit, I need my light. Yeah, let's see if that works. Okay, let me get a pointer or something. Shit. All right, let's see if we can do this. Okay. If you notice here, right here what Manita knows is, that's the, This is the cam load, and right above that is the lifter. So when I say make sure you're down, make sure your lifter is centered on the cam load, that's what I'm referring to, okay? Because once again, some of your lifters might be stuck in the chamber. They're not even touching the cam load. So before you torque that cam bolt, don't be lazy. Don't assume that, it's, you know, that your lifter is all the way down. I got new lifter. I got the Johnson lifters. And once again, some of my lifters were up, caught up in the in the uh, in the in the lifter tray, and I mean I pushed down with a push rod, and they were still kind of stuck. So I had to loosen up the tray, wiggle them a little bit, and then while the tray was loose, uh, take a push rod and push them down so they could you know interact with the uh, with the lifter tray. So again, you need to check all your lifters, make sure they centered on the cam load before you tote that cam bolt. All right, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, I have heard instances where the lifter was was caught up in the in the valve tray, in the in the lifter tray, not valve, excuse me, lifter tray. So once again, double check, guys. Measure twice, cut once. Be safe. You want to do a good job. You don't want no issues. So take a little time. Make sure all your lifters are sitting on your cam load center. 
All right, that's my little update. Sorry for the windy video, but hopefully this will help somebody. All right, so I put my flex plate locking tool back on. Now I'm ready to torque this cam boat to 48 foot pounds and then 90 degrees and then an additional 90 degrees. So, and that boat is 24 millimeters. If you don't already know. Okay, that's 48. Then we're gonna go 90. Let's see if I can do 90. So, Straight up and down like that. I don't think my torque is gonna hit over here, but we'll see. about 90 right there. So 90, then I need to go another 90. So. What do you think? Well, so 48, then 90, and then another 90. Shit, I don't know what's going on with my digital torque, torque wrench shit. I don't know, it's, it's not acting right, so I had to go to my click one and, uh, And we'll see what happens anyway. So 48, and then 90, and then another 90. All right? So now it's a matter of me putting my oil pan, my oil pump back on, get my oil pan and all that. And then go from there.